So let's fill in these blanks. It should say uh, when an automobile F in pounds is the and then it, the last line should be W is the weight of the In example 3A, it should be calculate F to the and then in B, it should be to the nearest and then in C, traveling. So sorry about that. Okay, so let's go back and read this, all right? So application up at the top here. When an automobile travels uphill or downhill, it experiences a force due to gravity. This force, F in pounds, is the grade resistance and is modeled by the equation. F equals W sine theta, where theta is the grade and W is the weight of the automobile. Okay, so we have some pieces here. Force equals weight times sine of theta. Is enough? Force equals weight times sine of theta. So on 3A, they want me to calculate F to the nearest 10 pounds for a 5,500 pound car traveling uphill with a grade of theta equals 3.9. So watch how easy this is. I take my formula, F equals W times sine theta. Do I know what the force is? No, that's what I'm solving for. So that's just going to stay F. Do I know the weight? Yeah. What is it? 5,500 <coughs> times the sine. Remember, theta is the grade. Didn't they tell me what the grade was? 3.9. So all I have to do is type this into Mr. Calculator and I'm good to go. So let's clear this all out. 5,500 times, do I hit second sign or just sign? Just, just sign. Just sign. The only time that you hit second sign is when you're missing the angle. I'm not missing it. They gave me what theta was. So I just hit sine 3.9. It's a good idea to close the parenthesis. It's not the end of the world if you don't, but you should. Good habit to get into. Hit enter. There it is. Well, yeah, because now, remember, they asked us to calculate F to the nearest 10 pounds. So I want to round that off to the nearest 10 pounds, which would be 370. So... This car is experiencing approximately 370 pounds of force. So are these, what, 2.3 pounds of okay? Mm-hmm. The ones that we're going to be doing anyway. They're all to do with force. Like, uh, you can go to that video. Using that same equation. Oh, it's not so bad. Um. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Why not? Because then it would just be you're going. Yeah. Because you're going downhill. So calculate F to the nearest 10 pounds for a 2,800 pound car traveling downhill with a grade of negative 4.8 for theta. So I use my same formula, weight times sine theta. So I still don't know the force, so that's going to be as an F. I know the weight is 2,800. Sine of theta they gave me was a negative 4.8. So this should be easy enough. You see this? How nice. 
And again, I want this to the nearest 10 pounds. So your answer would be? Negative 230. So this car is experiencing a negative 230 pounds of force. Okay, so I have a 2,400 pound car traveling uphill as a grade resistance of 288 pounds. What is the angle of the grade? So, right, this time I have the force. I don't have theta. Theta is what I don't know. So let's fill in our pieces. The force is 288. The weight is 2,400 sine of theta. How do you solve an equation like this for theta? There might have been some right answers, but I heard Alex's wrong answer first. <laughs> I wouldn't subtract 2,400. I would divide by it, right? Because you're multiplying, right? But yeah, so I would divide both sides by 2,400 first. So 288 divided by 2400 <coughs> just so happens to get me 0 0.12. You could do it with a trig table. They had tape. Yeah. It's still sine of theta. I have, I'm not done yet. I still have to figure out what theta is. So this is telling me. Hey, you, somebody has a sign of 0 0.12. Who is it? So how would I get just theta? So yes, I hit second sign 0 0.12. Whenever I have to solve for the angle, I have to hit second sign. So our theta, um, these all are to the nearest tenths, so let's do that. Yeah, 6.9 degrees. Not too bad, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If we could turn into minutes, I mean degrees, minutes, seconds. Oh. Would you do that or would you leave it at 6.9 degrees? If I don't specify, you can do either one. Okay. Yeah. If they specify that they want it in minutes and seconds, then I obviously do that. Oh, you can just hit one yeah, I'll take either there. answer. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so I think I have a worksheet on this section, but I'm not totally sure that I printed it. So, give me one second. <laughs> didn't print it. I know. It's all right. No one will ever watch it anymore. Anyway. 
minutes. <laughs> you say you will. Okay, I was one of the four links on your last video. Ooh, thanks. Okay, guys, I just sent this to print uh, in Ms. Brady's room, but if you don't want to wait another two minutes for me to get it to you, it's on Google Classroom right now. 